sure if this is... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the COD League. Uh, it's been an interesting day for sure. I mean, I feel I'm disappointed, to be honest. We didn't get that game five between Chance and, uh, and Ben. That was a fantastic matchup between the Huntsman and Paris Legion. They have not disappointed, I must admit, between the two of them. This is uh, nothing but excitement between these two teams. Uh, either way, though, friends, it's been an interesting start to the day. I think I may or may not be having a technical issue. If you can hear me, good. If you can't... That, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> Phil, how you doing, mate? I'm doing very good. I'm laughing at your, your technical issue uh, as you're speaking there, and I can hear other people just going, you know, keep talking. Where are you, Miles? I'm like, we're good. We're ready to go. Series 1 is done. However, Series 2 is upon us, and myself and Miles, of course, excited to bring you all the action. Uh, again, working through all the kinks and stuff like that, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and excited to jump into this one. I think everyone has their eyes on Dallas, but after yesterday, Toronto too, you know? Mate, Toronto is going to be a fun one. This is uh, exciting to see how well they've developed from yesterday's learnings. You know, again, relatively new squad. The lineup changes all the time. Obviously, they have a lot of practice, but can they repeat the success of yesterday against a team of the caliber of Dallas? That is the real question for me, Momo. I'm not sure if I'm loud and clear just yet, but let's rock and roll. <laughs> Uh, I hope you are, Miles. You sound absolutely beautiful. I, we, I know we've just sat and watched that game together there. Uh, just watched the Huntsman, obviously, uh, get another victory. Uh, Paris, of course, pushing them. But yeah, Toronto and Dallas going head-to-head -head here. Uh, Toronto, yesterday, we, we actually had the joy of casting, but we actually sat back and watched Dallas ourselves and saw what they could do. And I think it was interesting to see the likes of Shotzi and Illy playing back online and seeing how they were performing. I was personally very impressed with Shotzi uh, and looking forward to seeing him once again in action today. Well, here we go. Rolling wow. into our very first map. An exciting one indeed. It's going to be hard point here on Hangar Yard and right off the rip. Star Boy. Nice there. Here we go. Straight into the hard point. An absolute melee as all four members of the Toronto Opera have managed to push their way through. Metal's finding his kills, but still on point. Again, that first hard point, as is tradition, an absolute bloodbath, a fiesta, if you will. The control for top now being won by Vance. Nice little three pirouette. Did they just have to take the place there? And now the battle continues to rage here on the hard point. Watch those teams on the right hand side though. That's where the second will be. That's the focus for now. Shotsu with a nice triple. And as we get into this game, the first 15 is going to go Toronto's way. Of course, Dallas bouncing back and holding these spawns. A very important part here. Vance will be trying to flip them around. And it looks like here Toronto are going to be rewarded with that. And it's funny, again, when we talk about Hardpoint and especially Hackney Yard, sometimes, you know, with 45, even 30 seconds left on the clock, these guys are rotating so early, thinking two, three, five steps ahead at times. But as Q battles back with a nice double, Metals will answer back as well. And a bloodbath going down in the warehouse. But when all is said and done, the smoke will settle and we will see Toronto with those sports going into the next one. And my boy Zinni, he's dropping four in a row. My boy Zinni, five in a row. Make the sixth or so, so close. He's he's my boy, not your boy. No, he's your boy after he went down. He's my boy when he's on the sixth spree. Wow. There you go. Tire shop is up next. Metals, though, maybe my boy right now as he rolls forward, clearing the path, trying to cleave away right into that defensive line there of Dallas. But Cammy's managed to slither upstairs. The back seems to be safe now, so we will be looking at a little bit of chunk of hard point time here. Solid 20 if they can hold that front line. It's on the classic, though, for Toronto. Lovely shot through the smoke. Shotzi has managed to slip just past it. And classic can't quite continue to keep the run going as now we have one member of Dallas who's managed to slip the net, and there it is, it's going to be Duke, he's fine one, he can't quite get any more, the defensive line holds Toronto, the clock keeps ticking. Yeah, and interestingly enough, again, Cami medals the objective players at the start here, but it really just seems like anyone at any point for Toronto can be that objective player, and that's what I like, it's kind of the variance that we see, you know, the versatility, if you like, the word I was really looking for between these players that can do anything at any given time. Methods certainly stepping up in the slain department. Glacer, though, starting a little slow here. One and six, I'll be expecting people to change things around us. We go over to the smokestack now. That, uh, I was going to say that Glacer, that trophy system <laughs> has been dropped. Of course, well, stopping all those projectiles. They're both I don't know if I was right? saying Claymore, Glacer, I don't even know. You've been playing point. too much Warzone, Phil. I have, I have. Not anyway, enough trophies, man. more clay moss. <laughs> there we go. Speaking of the man himself, Clay up top yellow now. A premium position to be in just to make sure to watch through mid. Great shots there in the cam. He just hits the last, almost able to get to third. But your boy Zinni manages to get it done. It's now bad. Continues that push through mid. Metal's finally clearing out the hard point. And for a brief moment now, 25 seconds remaining here on smokestacks. There could be a solid chunk of time found here for the Toronto Ultra. Certainly could be. Shotzi was the man of objective yesterday, it seemed, with all that time. And as we look at that kill feed, classic medals, methods, lighting it up with five back-to-back. -back. But as Shotzi and Crim6 get into the action here, I feel like 
this game has really started so, so strong for Toronto. But realistically, there's only a 30-point difference. I think with the outslaying that they're doing, I think Dallas are actually keeping in this quite well. I'd expect their slaying to step it up going into the later stages and maybe turning this around. But as you can see right now, every single player bar Krim takes a negative. Only Krim with a positive at just one. Huke, of course, 9-9, nine and nine, but not too much to worry about here. Is the 100-point mark about to be broken? by Toronto, but you've got to really look at those positives. Toronto have come out here hot, and I think that's exactly what they needed. Yeah, so far so good. You've got to keep this pace up, though. That's the problem. Cammy and Bant's a little slow in the kills department. 5 and 10, 11 and 8, respectively. The same can be said for players 6 and 9. Not a whole lot of interactions, but here we go for Illy. Rolling in towards that next hard point. He's got some nice bit of time to his name. He saw a huge point in time yesterday's hard point games against the LA Gorillas, which they did manage to win. Methods were really him up there. He's still on board now with play as we roll towards the final hard point of the first set of rotations with a slight lead for Toronto. However, Dallas do have that full left hand side of the map locked down and under control for the time being. Here we go. Five seconds on the flip. Phil, any early predictions on this one goes? We're seeing Dallas bounce back into this one here on the Docks Warehouse. I, I honestly think, looking at the bigger picture, Dallas going into this heavy favorite, of course. You know, these guys are, you know, one of the favorites to, to win the tournament, by all means. But Toronto, I feel, have kind of nothing to lose. But it's a different shade of purple today for Dallas, of course, <laughs> taking down the Gorillas yesterday and Toronto today. And I feel like, again... This is where they can really kind of show how good they are. I am expecting them to at least push Toronto back a little bit. They are down, but Toronto, I've just got to, again, keep singing their praises for the way that they started this game. It was great rotations. It was great slaying. A lot of that came from the likes of Methods and Metals. But right now, we're on board with Illy. 25 seconds left, and we could be going on to our big lead change here if they can keep hold of this one. Uh, it really looks great so far. The hometown heroes here are hosts of the Dallas Home Series doing what they can to pull this game back. And there we have it. The lead has changed. Good stuff from them. Ten seconds now remaining of the last hard point. We're going to go back over towards the warehouse where Toronto Ultra are well and truly set up. They've been here for a while now. A one they might start paying rent. Bants trying to clean that one out. Bit of a windmill there. Does get the kill done before being traded out immediately. A nice two from Illy there on point. So that again keeps that pressure off for the time being. So three members now of the Dallas Empire have flooded under the point. It comes down to Classic. Can he do what he can? And not a single kill to his name there in the point. He goes down, and now it's back and forth. Clay tries to battle control on the outside there towards that second hard point. But again, back and forth we go. The trades here on this first point are so endless. Without a trophy system as well, the tacticals, the nades, they're going to make their mark there. It takes a really magical play, a decisive opener here to clean up this hard point and get a solid shot. Chelsea just trying to get up top and around, and he will do that. He'll damage the second, and it'll be Crimson's job to clean up. Job not complete, though, as is via Clayster as well. Classic coming back with a double. And again, with 15 seconds, it's very well set up here. Look at that minimap. Look how far number seven is pushed up. His medal is all the way over three. They are dictating the pace of this game right now. They're only in the lead by five, but Toronto looking so, so strong once again going into this back building. We'll see what Metals is doing. He's lurks around this top green area. Dead Silence has been popped, but he's got to end just there. Not going to find the kill to extend it. Crim6 will fall, and Toronto, again, keeping control of this game. Like, Toronto are doing a fantastic job keeping this one together. Solid kills here from Shotzi as he tries to make the break in from behind, allowing his teammates to make the mid. Not a chance, those Classics defense holds. Here comes the push. Shotzi once again, he leaves that position in the top broken building to the right of him with the top fire building, and he loses the gunfight there. So his teammates have now got to buy that position back through the middle of the map. Hugh gets taken care of downstairs. This is just going back and forth now. I mean, the push now from Dallas Empire has been almost non-existent. They have not been able to make a big enough dent. There's still players there on point, but they're getting cleaned up left, right, and center right now. As Toronto continue to hold the line. This has been a great second hard point for them. Yeah, it certainly has. And again, this is almost rinse and repeat from the first rotation. 181 plays 141 right now. A strong lead going into the smokestack. And, you know, we, we go, you know, two, three minutes ago, and this was exactly the same. We saw, obviously, the trophy going down in that smokestack. We saw Toronto breaking through. It is very tooth and nail. It's very nitty gritty here as we get into the action. But Classic trying to keep control here. Trophy will go down. It's here to pay the push from Clayster. But it is not enough as Clayster shreds Classic. Illy, C6, and Shotzi all in the kill feed here. Lighting things up, and again, maybe a point, maybe a chance to turn this game around. We'll have to wait and see whether they can hold on to this. But with another 45 seconds, plenty of time, Miles. I mean, once again, Smokestack is great there. Dallas got hold of it. And here we go, the push right through mid. Cleaned up there as Dallas will hold the middle line. Now it comes to the warehouse. Top L, bottom L. Take your pick. You have to choose right. Shotzi can't quite make it all work there as Illy finds two more. Krim sadly takes care of Shotzi with an aid. Now Illy's doing what he can to watch middle. Solid position to be in, but the timing is so unfortunate. This could be a break now. As you can see, Toronto with the control. Now Toronto trying to take the back. 
doing what they possibly can to flush these players out and get themselves set up for the next hard point as well. Nice bit of multitasking here from Toronto Ultra. They've cracked over the 200 point mark and Classic just able to crack into that second kill and he won't manage to get it. Tiny few moments here to be grabbed. But once again, over to the next hard point we go. Bottom offices, Illy on the front line. Great shot. Krim helps him out in the back end as well. And it's a clean house. It's all Illy's now. He's got to take one more player and then he can call it his. Oh, Classic will get the kill. Krim cleans it up. Get that hard point, Dallas. You need to get back on point. Uh, he was traded by the Semtex as well there, but Hugh now stepping in the shoes of Illy. Big shoes to fill here as he goes back and forward, entering and just rotating around. There's only two entrances to come through, and I think he knows where Cammy's going from, but no turns. He's back at the wrong time. Cammy enters. Illy takes care of him. As we see it from an overview point of view, they flood on through. Classic and Cammy combining. The contest will come in, and Toronto with 25 seconds left on this hard point. They will be able to push this to the very final moments, but they will need to rotate once more. Now, the tough decision for Dallas. Do you push it again? Do you rotate early? Because they can't win it on this next rotation. Vance is looking to end it as well, but at 2.28, they are in a stellar position to close this game out. Really good spot. Illy was in there for a brief moment on the contest in the last hard point, but now we come rolling down to the last one. Docs building once more. Clay's to set up in position with Illy watching the right-hand side door. Now they have to identify where the attack is coming from from Toronto. Watch for those plays. Hukes doing what he can in mid. Cut down immediately. That's unfortunate. That's an open lane now for Toronto to work with. Krim, you're up next. What have you got? The shots are going out. Here come the stuns through. Trying to slow down the push of the Toronto Ultra, but they're going all in. They hold the line for now as Dallas keep those shots coming through. This is good time. If they can hold this position, Phil, they can win the map here. They can certainly do just that. They need every single second, it seems. And as Classic sneakily gets through from the ball, finds himself one. It's going to be Shotzi down below. They are still in possession of this hill. A contest comes in for a millisecond, but it's not going to be enough to stop it. 25 seconds still left, and with five down, this is looking ever so good for Dallas Empire. The perfect hold. We're going to see Toronto score down 236 to 235. They will take the lead. Shotzi up top. Everyone pushing single fire, it seems. And Toronto letting it slip between their fingers. Shotzi on a killing spree. And with four seconds left, they're nowhere near. The last player will be cut down, cut in half, and the victory will go to Dallas Empire on a nail-biting game number one. A game which Toronto led for 80, 90% it seemed. But Dallas, come up clutch when it matters. And that boy, Illy, once again, putting in the work. Those numbers are incredible. Oh, you got to feel yourself right now if you're Dallas. You did not let that get ahead of you. You did not let the pressure early on from Toronto phase them whatsoever. They managed to pull that back fantastically. That was a solid start here. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. The home series team here doing what they can. That first map was a blinder. Phil, very, very impressed by what I saw out of Toronto still against a top caliber team like Dallas. But hey, man, a win's a win, right? Yeah, I mean, a win is a win at the end of the day. And I think, obviously, the way that this is right now, it's so important to come out strong. We saw Clay just start slow. And when I say slow, nothing too crazy. Just kind of one and six it was that jumps to mind. But when that happens, you're losing maybe a rotation. You're losing 30, 40 points on that. Going forward, again, just having kind of the, the experience to bounce back, the experience to kind of go the full distance of just the map yeah. itself and push this. It's so important. But... Overall, very well done. And 35 kills dropped by Illy. That's what you like to see, Matt. One. Incredible. The game fuel keys to victory. You just saw for Dallas. It was don't drop this hard point. So far, so good. Uh, for Toronto, though, all those players need to step up in the respawns. And honestly, we are seeing that. We can't be taking anything away from them so far. It was a very, very tough one to close out there against Dallas. But at the end of the day, we're meeting those keys to victories. We do have to see a little bit more out of Toronto. But until we do see that, I mean, the search is going to be an interesting and I think very close contested matchup nonetheless. But... Mate, this is, uh, this is unfolding to be quite the series already, my friend. This is our quick scope brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. It certainly is. And again, Toronto, their hard point record, 5-9, and nine, search and destroy, 6-4. and four. It's their domination, which really likes for Toronto at 1-6. and six. Of course, for Dallas, uh, again, the search and destroy is arguably one of their better game types at 9-6. and six, And that's what we're going into next. Of course, we saw Dallas yesterday and we saw their search and destroy. But I think going up against Toronto... Toronto yesterday it was kind of crazy when we saw them come out with a hot 6-0. So I'm excited for map number two, and if we get it, a map number five. Well, speaking of maps, let's have a look at the maps and modes brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. And again, it is a five-game series. Friends, first of three is going to get that win. Search coming up next is going to be a Gunrunner, followed by another Hackney Yard domination. And Gunrunner is a fun one. This is where we've seen, I don't know quite how to phrase this one, real <laughs> tears for the boys of Toronto. The last time we saw them go, I think it was a game five against Chicago. It was just unbelievable scenes here the last 
last time we saw them play that one. But I, I would love to see you know more from this Toronto squad. They've won our hearts. They really did so uh, in Atlanta and in Los Angeles as well. And I think they've only got time to grow. And this is a great look. This is the stats from the last game for all you numbers fans out there. A solid, solid showing there from the boys in Dallas. Slow starts, but hey, they managed to close that one out. I mean, certainly so, and I think what is great, and I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting, whether it be the social accounts, personal accounts, whether it be me, Miles, or the rest of the talent, you guys obviously wanting to see things like the scoreboard. We want to see it as well. We are bringing it you as much as we can, so please be aware of that. Um, but Toronto, uh, just to kind of speak a little bit about this team, and I think where do you start from player one to player 10? You can go back all the way to the management, but I think the important thing is, of course, is... With Toronto, they've made a big change as well. They don't have the likes of Looney in their team. I think that was a big shock to a lot of people. But, Miles, I mean, a question for yourself, judging by what we've seen since the, I don't want to say departure, but say the benching of Looney. How are you looking at this roster? Are you thinking it's better, faster, slower, quicker? I don't I mean, know, I'm... more entertaining. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think the team seems very well rounded at the moment. I mean, there doesn't seem to be a glaring weakness across the board. We saw the search yesterday against, um, uh, uh, against Florida. It was fantastic. It was a 6 0 in the first. I just don't have a a sort of a glaring weakness thus far in the hard points. We just saw them go the distance with Dallas. We saw them, you know, take out Florida in that regard so far. So, I mean, Domination's yeah. a tough one. Domination's the only game type they haven't really won yet. But we'll see if they can pull a win here against Dallas. A very tall order. An extremely tall order. But Dallas has just got to keep doing what they're doing right now. I mean, this is a map that on paper they should be winning. An upset here from Toronto would be huge. Okay, well, as we get into this, it will be good runner, like you said. And... Uh, Search and Destroy, I think this is where you can kind of see something special. I think it was Cami yesterday, and I'm plucking this out of the thin air. No stats, <laughs> nothing nothing to read this off. It was Cami. <laughs> was incredible in the Search and Destroy yesterday. I'm not sure if, if it was Gunrunner. We actually got the chance to speak to Cami as well. You in particular, I was just eavesdropping on that. I did, mate. But he, was, uh, he, he seemed very positive and very happy with the performance, and it was good to see kind of, kind of Cami come into his own. We've not really heard from him too much as, uh, as an individual. First blood once again going the way of Toronto, which is what we saw them do yesterday against Florida. And they keep the pace up, shot seen from behind, perfect timing there to clean Cami out as he transitions from pipes through middle. Now it's going to be a 2v2 methods, Bans versus Shotzi and Clayster. Bans can spot that bomb in the distance, trying to make something happen here as he just edges forward very, very slowly, but I would be remiss if I didn't say that I think Clay had an eye on that bomb, but he's gone now. See you later, Clay. 2v1 situation, Shotzi now trying to make the wrap. Methods as he sniffed something out, has Chef. Tony smelt something here in from behind. Shots he may have just slipped through. There's the spot on the bomb player. One goes down. The player directly above him. See? Oh, oh no way! Shots he managed to pull that one out. Dead oh. to rights in a 2v1. What a play that was. Red like a bucket almost seemed. And again, when he made the first goal, I think he just saw him and you saw him two miles calling it out there just on top. And it's awkward because a lot of people, like my, myself and you included, I'm sure, would say high ground is such an advantage. But sometimes in very specific moments when they're so close to you you almost don't know which way to look yeah you know can you look over the left the left edge the right edge behind you and you're almost a little dumbfounded if you like but round number one does go to uh i'm gonna say to shotzi with his four kills a bit of a blind spot almost you know that's yeah very very unfortunate too much choice <laughs> he did have too much choice speaking of choice uh it's a choice now for the push as dallas start to clean things up three dead already for toronto Methods and Bants once again, those two who sort of linger at the back in terms of the late game plays. And as we can see, Illy trying to get this top position here by AC, looking over towards B. And the player on the wrap, it is going to be Methods as he tries to find something here. He has got Dead Silence activated, so Illy will be none the wiser to the fact that he's moved through. There's the kill up top, and what a read from Methods! Lovely two peaks for him there. Now it comes down to Krim in the 2v1. Yeah, again, second player read there onto Illy. That was beautiful from Methods, and that just comes with experience. and. May have just kept his team in the game here. It's Crim6. Last oh. alive, we'll find one. That's Methods going down and with bands over the other side. The dead silence has been popped. 16 bullets in the chamber. But the bomb is down. Bance is looking over for it. Oh Look my at Crim6 from behind. Where's the assassination, Crim? <laughs> Crim could have done it. With... it. I was he, wanting it so he badly. He could have done it. He could have gone all the way. Look, he had the dead silence ripped out and ran for it. Oh my word, Crim. You're too professional. Give us a show, man! Anyway, what a round that was. Dallas, after heroics from Methods, find themselves a second round win. I'm sure Rambo Ray is fist pumping the air somewhere. Oh, fantastic. Into the third we go. And Dallas now on defense. 
Oh, okay. well, Illy. What are we Wait. seeing? Something different? Illy's running a snipe, I believe, with the VLK scope on it. Man's playing Warzone out here. Yeah, he's running an AX50 with the VLK. So it's got. A, it's not quite as as powerful at range, but we'll see what happens here. Meanwhile, shots he is well and truly surrounded right now, but he may be able to find something here as this gunfire brings out. The bomb goes down. Surprise! Out from behind the first door. He finds one kill straight away. Gets the second off the rip immediately. Stays alive. Gets himself into a position now to allow his teammates to push up. And here comes Methods trying to hunt this last player down. Hute finds another kill. He becomes the last player left alive for Toronto. Oh, there it is. A nice kill. Keeping himself in the fight. Got to keep an eye on the clock as well because the bomb could be defused right now as Gilly's on top of it. Methods, what have you got? Nothing right now as he gets pinched and closed out. Ample time to defuse the bomb. Brilliant stuff from Dallas Empire there. And I have to give it to Shotzi. Right place, right time. Really made that play work. Yeah, just clean and concise once again. Uh, and Dallas, it just seems like that's the way it's been. They've been very close in this game and mode in particular. Especially Shotzi just showing, showcasing what he can do there. But we saw it obviously from Methods' point of view. Again, great two-piece from him. But when he went up top, it was the perfect pinch through those minecarts, pushing and baiting out those players. But... Dallas come out once again on top and go into round number four here. Now on the offense. See a sniper for a second from Illy, but I believe it was put away there. Second two for Shotzi though. Yeah, back to the MP5 for Illy, but Matt Shotzi. What a turnaround for him. We go around, push towards A. Illy's getting very aggressive, hunting down classic. Yes, a very good idea where he is up top, but you got to watch the box push on the right-hand side. That ramp allows you to go up and down quite fast without having the mantle, so your player has a chance to get in the gunfights quickly like Bans does. Nice two. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Clay's trying to get a bit of retribution now, making it a 3v2. Toronto with the advantage. 60 seconds on the clock. Three players down, only Clay and Huke remain for Dallas. But Bans on your screen, quickly flicking over to Huke. Tries to stay quiet. In an interesting position, but the bomb is in almost no man's land. Slow and steady, though, for Methods. He's been absolutely instrumental keeping his team in these rounds, buying them these fantastic opportunities. Clay is, I mean, this is this is self-control right here. This is, it's late at night, and I want the ice cream. That bomb is within reach. Puke, straight through the door, opens the bathroom, finds one. He manages to get that kill. Clay managed to get the kill on the Methods. The timing of that one was unbelievable. Now Metals in a one versus one. Can he find the kill onto Clay? 15 seconds to get it done. Clay's going to make that bomb arm go down immediately towards A. And wow, this map has opened up. And now it's a one versus <laughs> one. Metals to stop the bleeding. And there it is. Clay cleans him up. Easy peasy. The fourth round in a row. Toronto have just been stunned by Dallas so far in the search. And again, back to what we were saying before, it's just clutch factor. We, we see it from Shotzi previously. Again, that was nearly the perfect bait and switch by Clayster and his teammate down water, but Metals got away. Clayster instantly, no hesitation, got that bomb, planted it, and just made every single right play, whether it was where he was going, where he was looking, or just his decision making. But 4 0, this is almost uh, tough to watch because you look across and Toronto, they're thinking of killing it. They're, they're doing the right things here. Um, not played at that final moment. Yeah, I mean, they're doing everything they can. Toronto, this is reminiscent of their game against Florida. It was an easy 6 0. Now we can. A whole new different beast. Banson Methods, though, keeping the team in it. Kills each. Classic will take an early nap here in the round. Oh, boy. Nice shot there from Kami as Clayster and Shotzi now answer back immediately. It falls him down to Bance in our one versus two. Not impossible. Have to be mindful, though, that Clay does have his dead silence activated. So he'll be moving around the map very, very quickly. They have no idea where Bance is, but a couple of quick checks. Oh, wow. A gift from the COD gods. Bance makes one kill. One more kill now to stop this. Got to end this run now as Dallas, if they can get a map win, a round win here, it puts them on map point. Vance, eager shots are there. <laughs> Clayster once again with a 1v1 victory. That's going to be 5-0. The Dallas Empire, it's an absolute stampede right now. The crazy thing, Miles, in the first board right now, a 4-1 to one to Toronto. Clayster once again clutching up in a 1v1. Dallas clutching up once more. It's just time and time again, and it is almost painful to watch. Toronto, they've not been the best team, but they've not been awful. They don't deserve to be 5-0 down at this moment in time, but we'll see whether we'll see another full sale here as we've seen one already. Whoa. Crazy things that happen. Nine kills for Shotzi. He started so, so hot there at 7-2, and two, but fast, aggressive, and first blood number five coming for Toronto. Can they finally win a round, Miles? Oh, now or never. Clay, great position to be in from behind. Potential for a second kill here. Lovely position to be in. Propped up. 
Classic gets cut down. And a Clayster. No. Clayster. No. Clayster. What was that <laughs> weird fight? Cammy just knocks him clean out. There we go. Crim's on his own. I was almost ready to spit fire across my monitor for that play. But here we go. Cammy. All he and Metals have to do now is close down Crim 6. But Crim on the hunt. One. Surely Crim not. 6. Crim almost gets it. And there we go. Toronto break the seal. 5-1. Ah, oh, you need five straight boys, and then we can go to map three. Oh my good gosh. I was about to scream with practice so much, my neighbors <laughs> might have filed a noise complaint right there. But Metals does come up with the goods, and he finalizes the final kill there, going into round number seven. But again, Clayster and Cammy, that was a, a boxing match over by the train tracks, it seemed here. But a long way to go for Toronto, by all means. If you just joined us as well, uh, Dallas did take the hard push. Just a bit of a nail-biter, nail but 90 seconds on the clock for round number seven here. Kills already going down, and this time it's going to be Shotzi with the first blood. Yeah, here we go. Can't pass it back quite instantly. How are you going to slow this one down? So he's made finds his mark. Metal's now doing what he can. Shotzi just trying to keep cream forward. You can see that one slowly but surely making its way forward and metals and methods now answering back again so it's a solid position to be in for toronto keep these kills coming keep the pressure on while they get that bomb towards b that was a great job once again from green that's his second kill from that position and in from behind comes shotzi absolute blistering pace set he's going to be cleaned up perfect timing and again just that a bit of awareness he didn't have anywhere else to go trapped in that position we find a second round for toronto okay okay this is where you take a, a deep breath and you, you think all right this is doable but consistency is the key, of course, pushing forward now. And Dallas have been pretty on point with their rounds in Search and Destroy. But Toronto showing some uh, professionalism. Some clutch factor themselves here as we count down into, I believe, round number eight, is it? 5-2 now. Ironically, the first bloods are the complete opposite. 5-2 <laughs> in favour of Toronto. But seven kills for medals, methods, bands. Cami, of course, just behind with six. Classic at just two. But the A push once more for Dallas. And again, two kills back to back. This is looking strong for Toronto. Oh, this is looking great for Toronto. An immediate answer back by Million Shots. He. So you like to see the Section Destroy Wizards go down. But Bans, he has a spell of his own as he casts it over to the top of Ilya. Now it's going to be a 3v2. Shots and Clay now in trouble. Quick rotation from that bomb straight over towards B. As you can see, the defense there from Toronto Ultra quite spread at the moment. They have to consolidate this position. And if they get caught from behind, like they could well do at the moment. They're guessing wrong right now. Bomb goes down immediately. Shots, he backs on up. Clay's going to be backing him up from the back of the truck there, overlooking towards that forest side. Metal's he's got full knowledge. He can't look out. He's got no idea which players are. Guess. Now you have a little bit more intel. Great shots from Clay, just keeping these players back. Keep the clock on your side. Methods is going for the kill. This is going to be big, and he's not going to be able to get it. Clayster may have just won the round. Shots, he gets his fists out, and he finds Metals. 20 seconds left. This is it, Bance. be one pinched away we won't see the final kill but he's over by the rock and he's been put to bed there 6-2 is going to be the score line for dallas empire and a convincing second map victory here as we go into a third game miles i don't want to jump the gun a little bit but it's domination and we know toronto stats when it comes to dom dallas looking so so strong very, very strong. Cannot be too disappointed with that performance. I mean, there was a couple of moments there where I thought they may have been able to turn it around, but at the end of the day, the Dallas Empire will get that map win. That's two to nothing so far in the series. And hey, man, it's what you expect of the hometown heroes. And whew, not a bad start for Dallas. Um, Toronto, though, I mean, it's it's so close. I think you called this one perfectly. Was They're extremely close time after time in those rounds. That could have well been a much closer series. But sadly, it was not. We'll have a quick look soon in our scuff play of the game. It was Huke from game one. The boy is a bloody animal no matter what game he plays, no matter <laughs> where he plays it, whether he's in a stadium for the fans, whether he's in the comfort of his own home. Huke is an absolute unit, and that scuff play of the game belongs entirely to him. Phil, I mean, Dallas have not looked bad so far. Toronto just nipping at the heels. Oh. There's a couple of changes here or there need to be made. But ultimately, I mean, this is a fantastic series so far. Oh, fantastic series so far for Dallas, by all means. For Toronto, you're looking at this and thinking, how did this slip away? You know, the, the hard point, it was a couple of hills there or, here or there. A rotation maybe would have changed the game itself. But that Search and Destroy, very one-sided. We've seen the good, the bad, the ugly from Toronto in Search and Destroy in these first couple of days. But of course, being a, a qualification max, this is so important. And 25 kills being dropped between Shotzi and Clayster. That is what you want to see from whether it be the veteran, the leader, or from, you know, the new kid on the block who's just kind of a crazy 
Uh, rampant play that he is, but 14 kills for Shotzi. Uh, search and destroy. I mean, some people are dropping less than that in respawns. <laughs> that's uh, that's unfortunately true for you, right? But Shotzi has been lights out so far, instrumental in those victories for Dallas. Brilliant, brilliant work thus far from Dallas here in this opening series. Map 1 and 2 are done. When we come back after this break, we'll be having the domination. Can Toronto bounce back? It'd be exciting to see if they can. But for Toronto now, their back's certainly against the wall. Dallas can close it out in three. Find out after the break. Cool games, man. Really cool games. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Stay connected to what matters most with the best value in wireless. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the COD League. We're here getting ready for map three of the Dallas Empire versus Toronto Ultra. Exciting series so far. Toronto have come close, but no cigar for the wonderful Canadians as they are now with their backs truly against the wall here in the series. Dallas looking fine, boys. Looking absolutely fine. I'm, of course, joined by Momo. Philippe, how are you doing, mate? Doing good. So far, so good. I mean, again, it's different. Very, very different from uh, from getting up, getting out of bed, just rolling into the next room and casting some COD. But I'm enjoying it. And I tell you what, it does make for hungry work. It really does. Well, speaking of hungry work, here's our Grubhub picks of the day. We did this see yesterday. I, did I'm, I, I see what you did, brother. I picked Cammy after uh, his disgusting and delicious, if you will, performance yesterday. Brilliant, brilliant work from him. Uh, who did you pick? You picked Shotzi. Good call, mate. Shotzi. He's been lights out all day today. But again, Grubhub friends, they are doing absolutely everything they can to keep local businesses going during this difficult time from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. your time uh, they will be offering $10 off orders of $30 or more make sure you go to the perks section of the app to check that out Grubhub saved my life I told that story yesterday if you missed it check the VODs check the VODs either way mate we're ready to roll into the domination soon Phil and uh, have you got any sort of quick picks, pick, quick picks going into this one or oh, actually Phil you know what you know what mate I might, I might pull the reins back there 
because we're going to go okay. look at our US Army tactical play. For, I'll, um, keep, it for I'll keep it noted. I'll keep it noted. Keep it noted. I've rolled you there, mate, but here we go. It's going to be the US Army tactical play from uh, the Search and Destroy. It was your boy, Crim6. The man is a unit, and he had an opportunity here, a unique and very talented opportunity to pick up an assassination in that game, but he did not. But either way, it was a brilliant turn. Usage of that dead silence, running himself home and absolutely putting a clinic on for the team here in Dallas Empire. Yeah, I mean, beautifully done. I think we were frustrated a little bit. We wanted that assassination. Like you said, a little bit too much war zone, I think, on our side. Uh, but either side, I think, yeah, we, we go back to our, our players to pick. I think Shotzi, for me yesterday, it was all objective work. And today, it's slain in, in the search and destroy. And I'm just excited to see what he can do in the domination going forward. Um, but either way, you know, Dallas, Crim6, Shotzi, whoever you want to pick right now, all looking very, very good. They seem very, very comfortable in the, whatever they're doing. So keep it up, Dallas. I mean, Dallas is, uh, is a strong enough squad anyway, and this was one of the shortest comings I think we have for Toronto is going to be their domination game. What have they got in the tank? I mean, really, this is a tough one for them, but uh, they've surprised us time and time again. We didn't think they were going to get a win on Hackney Yard Hardpoint yesterday, and they managed to do that. And now we see it again going into the dom. Okay, well, as we jump on board, I think we're going to be going on with Toronto. A long road ahead. A reverse sweep is what they need. I'll tell you what, it's got to be 30, 40 minutes of incredible gameplay from the boys in purple. However, Dallas Empire looking to close things out here in the next 10 as we go forward. Five minutes aside, of course, we see A and B go in the hands of Toronto. But down straight away looking to flip those spawns. They're going to be heading to this back tire house as well. Crim6 up top, M4 in hand as Elite will pick up a weapon, swap it out as he finds his third kill of the game. There you go. A and B in the hands of Toronto for the time being, and they try and keep Dallas back towards C for as long as possible, but Clay's got a thing or two to say about that. No one's spawning in anywhere positions nearby as he's going to hit to right towards A. Get an easy cap here, relatively uncontested. There's a couple of members now making their way forward for Toronto. Can they get here on time? And Metals will find nothing but a couple of shots. Tammy now trying to find a bit more classical clean house there and make A safe. Meanwhile, B is looking a little rough for, for wares. It will be captured over there by Dallas until... Oh, actually, last bit changed there from Toronto, excuse me. And if you're seeing Cammy hold down A now. So, so far, so good for the boys of Toronto. They managed to keep A and B safe. C goes back into the hands of Dallas after a quick flip. And this is a solid, solid start for Toronto. So far, so good. 24 to 8. And again, when domination comes around, we talk about these points and, you know, what's kind of the matter about it. 12 points, obviously, per minute as you capture 2 to 1. And with a 14, to, sorry, 18 point lead right now for Toronto, this is so, so early. This is great for Toronto. It's the perfect start they needed. And going forward, we kind of talked about, you know, the stats coming into this, why, you know, Toronto weren't great at domination. But throw it all out the window right now. They're dominating here. They're showing a very strong show. 35 points already to their name. Interesting smoke for Hugh, but it's going to work nonetheless as he sneaks his way through and tries to change over the B flag. But Cammy on a killing spree now, just five in a row. Is he your boy, Phil, for the five? I can't tell. I'm not sure yet, mate. I mean, it's it's going back and forth. Who's your boy right now? Mate? Um, I'll, I'll decide that in a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> we we'll see who's winning. Then I'll pick that boy. <laughs> I'm a capricious turncoat when it comes to like who's my boy. Who's Absolutely. My boy? Up the most numbers right now. Who's making the biggest points? So far, Toronto are not looking bad whatsoever. Toronto with a solid point right now. But let's have a very quick Astro Gaming listen in with the Dallas Empire. Uh, Okay, we're getting top out. Cap in the city. Top out. Classic spigot. I got my green. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yo, I killed Quirk. Another one. Top AC. Top AC. Top AC. Where'd he go? I'm just I don't know. I'm beating Nick. I'm one shot. I'm going A on Fauna. 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 I
and, and one shot, another one there. And I clapped that dead. One more. I killed one, I killed one. Oh, that's him, that's him. Go B, someone, someone go B. I'm B, I'm B. I'm B. They went on B. I spawned snake, they're coming C probably. I'm B, I'm B. Two, three, three, three. Three, there's a whole bunch. I'm gonna push out our door. Yeah. No, one guy. One, one. I'm getting up C. One, two, three, two, three. One, 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 Dallas is swinging for the fences, but right now, Toronto, they still have a firm hold of the map. Can they keep this control towards A? B made neutral for the time being. Got to get somebody from that Toronto team onto the point, and they won't be able to do it. Here comes Dallas. Illy in there on point. Big shots, but not enough to get Bans as well. Method's now locking down the outside, and we are going to have control of B for the time being. Going over towards A once again as Dallas managed to flip the time. Metals trying to hunt down this player on top. It's a quick neutralize and straight back onto the point. But here comes the pinch now from Dallas. Able to find anything? No. Metals is going to keep the point. Here comes the continued push over towards this A flag. Metals can't get any more than the one. And that's going to be enough for now to just try to buy as much time as possible. The remaining 20 seconds here in the first round of this domination. And Phil, I will say, Toronto continue to impress. Yeah, they had such a great start towards this this domination in general. It was so well done. We saw Cami on the five streak, five streak, which we highlighted obviously straight off the bat. But they go into the next one with what I believe is a twenty five point, yeah, twenty five point lead. So again, it's almost like a two minute lead, and you know the rounds they're shorter now more than ever. Five minutes, we will see whether Dallas can obviously pull something special out the bag. But we are going to flip the spawns. We are going to obviously get Dallas spawning over by the tire shop. So we'll see how that, of course, affects things. Uh, Dallas Empire, though, they've got a good record in domination. Uh, and I was actually just looking between these two teams and kind of going, not head to head, but actually this map and mode combination. Dom Hackney Yard, Dallas is 6 and 2 on. Uh, they played it a lot here. Toronto, they played it just once and they lost it versus Minnesota. So this could be, um, you know, new Toronto, new domination. Yeah, truly really new. Place that opens this one up with a very, very solid two set of kills again. This is the preferred side of these teams. They want A control. Fight towards C. It's just a little harder to make their way around that large fence area or push their way out sort of back green. Here we see people just screen. Do what he can to just slow the push down of these players. Bans with the fancy footwork, just jumps and dodges, and dives and dipsy doodles his way right into the kill feed and then trying to keep that momentum as he commits his way forward onto the point. Hit fire of plenty as you can see these players going towards B, and it's very similar to what we see in hardpoint. Just challenging this B flag, it's just such a mess, it's such a flurry <laughs> of gunfire. It's so, so difficult to keep this one up. This is where those high sense players, the submachine gun players, really, really shine. A little bit of support from the AR players from behind, doing what they can to keep the pressure off, not letting those players get in close, but it looks like Crim6 and crew have managed managed to do it. They've managed to keep B safe for now. A still in the hands of Dallas for the time being, Phil, but the pressure now mounting from Toronto. Yeah, I mean, you saw how much they retreated instantly. They thought, where's the pressure gone from B? They sensed that the push onto A was happening. Clayster reads it, but with an M4, not the best weapon of choice. He's going to make it do, though. Methods will go down. The trade doesn't come in. Finally does there, coming from Metals, but 102 to 90. That 25-point lead, Miles, has been changed just a little. Still in the hands of Toronto now as they control A and C. But C could be changing hands very quickly. I mean, you're right, though. It's a two-minute game, basically. You've got to hold on to those two flags. A will be. I am being at the same time, for at least two minutes to really pull that lead back. And it's getting closer, but close is not going to be enough as Toronto has a solid three man push in on towards that B flag. One more player to clean out, and Bans, he's shooting at shadows right now. He can't find him. He does manage to finally get shots in. Here we're going to see the grab on towards B, but in the meantime, it's going to be A. That's where Dallas has focused its attention. Trophies are up, the crossfires are there. Bans is now going to make a dead silence play on his own to try to stop the cap towards A, and that Clay manages to save it. Cammy may win the fight on the back, but Clay has saved the day at A. What a sentence that is to say. And here we go. Shotzi now making his way in towards B. This could be the turnaround that Dallas needed. Yeah, this is looking so, so strong. But look at A on the minimap. Just one player defending it. It's Clayster in a corner. Clayster in a corner. Finds one. Whoa. Right in the second there. As I don't think he saw him. A bit of a bait and switch may have happened accidentally as Illy jumps on, saves the day. And A will be going back and forth once more. But B, firmly in the hands of Dallas. C, firmly in the hands of Toronto. Now, with a six-point lead, that 25 has suddenly gone. And guess what? Two and a half minutes have gone. And Dallas have really made it work. Continuing like this, we're going to see Dallas win 3-0. I mean, this is so dangerous right now for Toronto. They do have to keep this pressure up. Great kill from Mills. They have to keep this pressure up. They have to keep going for these flags. But you've got to watch that minimap on the far left-hand side now. Sees the trouble. 
So you have to see a decisive cap towards A, and even more of a decisive push in on towards B to make sure that's safe, because now you've managed to lose your flags. This is a Dallas comeback in the making. They've got no real points coming through for Toronto. Not enough right now. All they have is A. Now they have to play retake on point, and Bance, that's two pieces. Actually a great way to get it done. Krim now in from behind, gonna slow down the push, but we are gonna be seeing B now taking control of by Toronto. Classic's gotta seal out the cap. Methods with these solid kills just keeps that pressure off, allows for the flag to be captured. It's a game of seconds right now. And this is a solid turnaround from Toronto. Got to hold this because that scoreline is as close as we've seen it so far in the game. Yeah, we've seen many a domination kind of get blown out of the water, but this one's certainly oh not. Boy. As I say that, this could be a triple cap and a great stun and neutralization coming through onto CB, changing hands. But Bance up top with the M4. He's got to be traded out. And honestly, someone needs to cap these flags. C is going to be gave, given back or taken back, should I say, to Dallas. But with just 60, maybe 70 seconds on the clock now, this 10-point lead, it might be enough. Enough. That kill box just set up there, the crossfire in the middle there of the B flag by Toronto was just brilliant to keep the pressure off. Managing to keep B at least out of the hands for the moment now of Dallas. Shotzi, heroics are needed, my friend, starting to get a little dire. One minute left in the game. I'm not even sure if it's mathematically possible, Phil. Toronto may have sealed the deal. We could be seeing a push here. A triple cap would get it done. Dallas have just lost their C flag. B now is about to be made all theirs, but is it going to be enough? Is there enough time left to even pull this back? Well, with 45 seconds, it's going to be looking like you need a triple cap. And as it currently stands here, 133 for Dallas is what it's going to stay like. C is going to go back to them. A is being challenged. The neutralization could come through. He needs to stay on it. Can't do as the grenade, the gunfire comes through in a flurry. And with a 15 point lead at this point, it's looking like Toronto pushing this to an all-important map number four versus Dallas. A very well-played game here. And as the time ticks away, I believe A still in the hands of Dallas. That should be enough. It should be enough at this point in time. Well done to Toronto Ultra. They managed to go the distance on a game type they didn't have tremendous success on. A game type that we had pet them to lose. They have managed to turn this one around. What a spectacular showing here from Toronto, keeping the series alive as Dallas, they do an, honestly a Herculean effort to try to pull that one back. We don't see a lot of comebacks in Dom, but they came as close as they possibly could. Major props to Toronto there, as we will now be seeing map number four, another hard point between these teams. Beautifully done. And again, it's almost uh, the start of maybe something special here. We've seen crazy things already as we transition to the Dallas homestand, and it's a little different, but 28 kills dropped by Methods. The slaying was great. A positive 10 for him with only 18 deaths. And uh, where did Dallas struggle? I'm kind of asking the question. It was that very initial start of the, the first half. You know, they, they got off to a pretty poor start. They went down by about 25 points early on. And it was just a mountain that they had to climb since then. Yeah, it was very, very solid map control from Toronto, just stopping all those pushes from Dallas, not lettering them, not really allowing them to to hit those side flags. You know, you want to be watching up your home flag. You have to try to maintain pressure on B, but you want to just try to hit those like this. It's like a jab. It's like a sort of poke to try to slow down their flag cap. So if you could take their home flag, do what you can to slow the, the, the accumulation of points. They managed to do a great job of that. Toronto props to them. Not the same pace there in the second half. I must admit, Dallas really looked a lot stronger, but hey, man. Right. Close enough series, Phil. Close enough series. Let's be honest, mate. And now we go into another hard point. Is this the confidence, the momentum <laughs> that Toronto needed to just be able to push them over the edge and take a hard point from Dallas? This could be their chance. It, it certainly could be. And again, it's not one of the, the stronger hard points of Dallas. I believe Gunrunner is coming up next. And this is actually a positive thing for Toronto. They played it four times, won it three. And for Dallas, played it seven and only won it three. So, you know, quick mass, you can kind of see that there are some, you know, maybe stats you want to favor towards Toronto on this one. But the sheer power, the slaying power, the skill of Dallas, it's still going to be a very hard game to overcome. But this new Toronto lineup, it is looking like one to watch out for, for sure. And, you know, going into this, you know, if they can push this to a game five, we've seen crazy things already happen. And of course, being a qualification match, so, so important. Dallas it is their homestand. These guys are one to come out and win it for their fans as well as everyone else here included. But uh, Dallas... One more map. I think I think Hardpoint could be the one, Miles. I mean, they've just got to clean this one out. But the slaying department, that's really what I think won it there for the boys of Toronto. Sure. They managed to outslay Dallas very handedly and quite across the board. I mean, I think it was only Hugh Canilli really putting up the numbers there. But even then, uh, yeah, everyone almost everyone went negative on Dallas aside from Ilya at a plus one. That is what you have to be doing. You've got to be setting yourself just one or two steps ahead of the Dallas lineup. You know, they've got the brains to keep this game alive, you know, with their own sort of, ca you know, calculated. It's very, very clutch plays across the 
the board. But if you can keep them out of the game and in their respawn, that's what you want to be doing. You want to be seeing them watch that respawn countdown timer as much as possible. So that pace set early on by Toronto really, really helped them. Can they replicate that pace here on the Gunrunner hardpoint? That's the key there, I think, for, for this Toronto squad. Mate, this is a banger of a series. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought <laughs> this was going to be I thought this was gonna be a 3-0. I thought this was going to be over. And it very I well could have been. So it could glad have been Miles. You know, looking back at the search and destroy, it was a, a showcase of brilliance from Dallas. I mean, the first hard point was pretty close, and I'm hoping this second one is too. But uh, Gunrunner so far has treated uh, Dallas pretty nicely as we get into this one. Dallas will be looking to close things out. But Toronto, as I said before, a different shade of purple today that they will be facing. That being Dallas. As we get into this now, let's see who's on our screen. Who we're watching is none other than Medals himself. The Spaniard with a nasty knife in his back pocket. Let's see what he's got. Uh, he was absolutely disgusting in yesterday's game five against Florida. Oh boy, we're right back onto the point. Here we go. Cami, nice two. Oh, Cami. Oh, nah, no problem. Crimp, not going to fall for that one. Not going to fall for the old in and out by the rock. And uh, as we see the pace being set quite early on, the kill's really going in the way of Dallas at this point in time. They're going to try to do what they can now to take over the right-hand side of the map. Challenging thing to do. If you've ever played the CDL playlist, give it a shot if you haven't. And uh, it's a difficult thing to do to try to take the spawns back here on Gunrun. You have to win a lot of consecutive kills, much like we see on Hackney Yard and that second hard point. A lot of consecutive kills. You've got to flush everyone out at pretty much the same time before those spawns will effectively flip and allow your boys to take control of that area. 18 to 6 here. The start is good for Dallas, but the spawns, like you said, they need to be flipped and nearly working on that. Three bullets in the chamber, shot in the back, but he slithers away there with his life dead silence. Oh my goodness, talk Ooh. about cod timing and makes it work. I don't know. I was starting that sentence expecting him to get shot in the back, but he takes down Classic. Take down classic indeed. Now Krim trying to make his way forward as well. Nice shots, a couple of tags. He says he goes through, but those lampposts are the bane of almost all players here in Modern Warfare. As they do a whole load to just slow you down and cause problems for you. Illy biding his time to try to make his way in through middle, but the second hard point is now up. The munitions depot is going to be in the hands of Toronto for now, but there is a four-man push, slowly but surely, clawing its way right on through the front end of the map. Here we go. Dallas on the break. Players making their way through the rear. Classic's going to go down now. It's a Shotzi and Illy combo working their way in through the back door. They will run into Metals, who's going to give them a whole load of trouble. Duke with the smoke as he now enters, and it's Cami who's got his number. And Toronto will hold the line, continuing now the push from Dallas. Yeah, nice stuff there from Toronto. Again, this is one you want to hold. We are going to flip over towards the minecarts. Look at the minimap there. Number three, that's Methods already rotating round. He's going to be the one trying to hang with this. But as Contest comes in for the final 15, it's very well done from from Toronto. And, and again, they kind of push and pressure them. But it's all about who wins this rotation. A great gun fight from Placer there. He's going to be caught off guard and traded by Vant here. But he's going to be shut down. Toronto start this so strong. And yes, we're talking Toronto. Even though they're down by 15, they're in the power position. This is looking fantastic for them to push this even further here. Classic on your stream. He's one up top by the forest. He's going to see the trophy come over by Hugh, but he's not going to even get a bullet in him there as Vance will now try and pop that dead silence and get in the action. Uh, okay, you doing what he can do now one point. Trophies, trophies, trophies. So important, whether in your cabinet or whether they're on the floor in front of you, saving you from danger. Cami keeping this defensive line held. This is a great chunk of time. Solid smoke's a position to be in as well. And Cami can't find any more there. It's a push from Dallas now. It finds its mark. Krim 6 now leading the charge. On the other side of the gunfight, you are going to be seeing the push in through the side there on the pipe room. That's not going to work out. It's basically a single lane now, and the race has been won by Dallas. He managed to overtake the kills from Toronto and now force them back. And Illy, he's driving the spear right into the heart of Toronto, but he's going to be slowed down for now. But again, slowed down is all it is. With seven seconds to go, the rotation has to start coming out soon, boys. And it looks like Cammy's actually in position. He's about to meet three players there <laughs> from Dallas on the rotate as Clay cleans up these kills on point. The next hard point's already up, and Cammy's all alone. Yeah, I think you said it, you know, very well. Cammy might have been first there, but there was three that he had to deal with, and those three have taken over. How close of a start we've had it, though, here. Just five points separating the teams. 72 and 77 as Dallas start to climb above that 80 mark. Shotzi breaking out. Reins are off, and Shotzi just led and loose here with that MP5. He's going to reload, take some damage, but he's all good. He's still got that dead silence working, but he's going to hit that prone and just soak up the time. Do we talk about build up this match was we wanted to be seeing the slaying up and really working out for Toronto and it is they are managing to win the kills but it's the rotation it's the actual hard point play itself that Dallas are doing so effectively that's where the success is coming from you see it on the scoreboard they may not be winning in the kills but they are certainly leading the charge here 10 seconds remaining 
on the cargo containers. We are going to be going to that far left-hand side of the map, back towards the warehouse. Last chance now for a few kills as Illy is infiltrated the front, not able to get much more than a shot out before he's put to the grave. Huke trying to now pick up the pieces. Time flips into the hands of the Toronto Ultra. Huke from up top finds one. His teammates are finding the kills all over the place, but the last line of defense is going to be in that left-hand side of the map. It's on the hard point. The spawns have actually flipped out, so Toronto is spawning a little bit outside of the hard point. And if number nine can stay alive, if Illy can stay alive here, he may be able to flip this one. We may be able to give control now fully to Dallas, and I think it may just happen, Phil. He may have just done that <laughs> almost alone. Uh, I think he did it alone. He actually took one of his teammates down with the MP5 as well. He was just killing absolutely everything inside, but I don't think he'd be worried too much about that. Currently sat at 15 and 10, dropping a 1.5. He's going to drop another, Ooh. make it 16. Can he make it 17? Not going to happen, but the job has been done beautifully there. With 20 seconds, that might just go to Toronto. But as we rotate back towards the middle here, we are going to see a lead in this second rotation from Dallas Empire. Illy still going crazy over the train tracks, though. He's feeling himself today. Illy is... Having a good day. He had a good day yesterday, to be completely honest. And now he's popping off indeed. I mean, like 17 to 11, but it's still very, very decisive stuff so far as Dallas will lead this one quite handily at 127 to 99. Back to the middle we go, right to that central platform. And again, we saw a solid start here from Dallas. We saw them make a decent transition up towards uh, Cargo on the far right-hand side of the Munition Depot. However, they still have to keep up the pace. Toronto now with a bit of control in mid. They are going to try to push Dallas back now. How long can they hold on to this hard point? while trying to take control of that right-hand side of the map. I'm not sure if they're actually going to commit to it too much just yet. Still 30 seconds left from the point for me. They can hold the mid, they can push at the last second, and if they get something good, it works out. But Hans just leapfrogged over someone. It was going to be Shotzi. Kills him revived. A little leapfrog never hurts anybody as Metal does pop that dead silence here. Again, battling for this last 15, it's all well and good, but the rotation previously was almost gifted towards Toronto. This time, Dallas have really earned it. They've pushed them back. They've held the line. And whether they can hold it is a different story. Here's Shotzi jumping up and down. Left, right, and center as Kami does go down. Illy puts one before finding methods. He's not going to be able to finish that. But a close game nonetheless. That's been the story of this series, really. Bar the search and destroy. But 123 to 131 here as we go over to the warehouse at the back. Dallas in full control. Man, full control indeed. I mean, whether it's nades or the shots, they've got the entire scene covered. Now the play begins for Toronto. One team kill through mid from six, holding the line again, slowing them down. Brilliant shots to take care of Classic before being traded out. Now we have Bands there on point, immediately mopped up. Two more players making their way through the right, but the spawns from Dallas close out by their telephone pole to the back right of the map. Methods, what have you got? Try to make these entry kills. As Cami makes his way in, a good kill. The test is still taking place though. That means Dallas is still on the point. And it's Shotzi, once again, who ruins the play there for Toronto. Metals can just about clean him up. But in all that time, you're still having to look towards those rotations. Dallas, one step ahead on the rotate. They've managed to get four players now across to the next hard point. And Methods, he's trying something sneaky though. And again, you kind of think about, you know, when you're at the end of the game, you look back at what moment really won it for Dallas. And I think this could be the moment. The reason being is obviously holding that warehouse, making that perfect rotation. Now having full control of the minecart, shots you with another three piece in the kill feed before going down to medals. It's all coming together. The pieces of the puzzle. Dallas seem comfortable here, but can Toronto make something of this? The answer is yes, but will they is another question. I mean, it's not over yet. Thanks. Warren his way forward. This is a good hold for Toronto. There's still 30 seconds left, though. though now you've just got Hugh on point. Illy's now in get, and they're on top of Methods. He's going to smother him to death. Classic picks up that position immediately, but again, he needs the backup of his squad. Vance is going to come in there a little late. They do manage to hold off Dallas for the time being, though. Hugh and Illy, just that pace being set. They are left stick forward at all times. They do not relent. They will not stop. Clay's shut down there by Nettles. And again, we are seeing this absolute blistering pace set by Dallas, but they've been held at their, you know, but the scruff of their neck there on this hard point here by Minecart. Over we go to the cargo containers, Phil. Cami's lined up once again, but they have to hold on to the push now for Dallas. Yeah, I just want to highlight, of course, Toronto, how well they did to break back into the minecart there. And they actually took control of it just shortly after. I was saying this could be almost the moment we remember. And they really do just shut that down. Now they have a strong rotation over towards... The hard point here. Shots, he's going to get shut down as well. Medals with a nice double. Can't find the triple onto Illy. But it's very much back and forth here. And again, with Dallas Empire right now, they want all these points by all means. But they've got to start thinking to push through, to push past it. Classic as we jump to the sky cam here. He's going to wrap around, find one, and now going to find himself some time. It's exciting to see that interplay between the players on that hard point level. Box in the middle of the 
Chicago really makes the biggest difference when it comes to these gun fights. Solid lead now from Toronto. They've got to keep building upon this, but the rotation's already gone down. That left hand side of the map, number six, number eight. That's going to be Shotzi. That's going to be Clay. They're already in position now to hold that hard point. The spawns are coming through as well. Cami has to drive now so far into the lines of Dallas, finding these kills. But again, Metals trying to back him up as we're seeing the play develop. This is going to be absolutely decisive now from Toronto. And up top from Metals. Look at this parkour from him. He's going to sweep in from behind. His teammates have shown up as well. Bance finding those kills in the front. And what a set that was. Bance with three on the front. Metals comes in from behind. That's a solid break there from Toronto. Well, talking about moments you're going to remember, clip it. That is what you want to see. That was a beautiful play there from Toronto. Again, just kind of the break from the front, but also the side. It wasn't much of Classic that picking up the kills, but he's uh, positioning, making sure that Dallas was supporting out. It was beautiful here. Dallas now flooding through these boxes, and I, I just don't see it working. These guys have got it locked down. They're 20 seconds away. But at this point, they have to go. They have to put everything into this one, because Toronto are about to win this hard point if it carries on. The contest will come through. Illy making his way in just find a couple of kills there he's gonna just push this game a little further as well we are gonna see another rotation but miles four players of toronto all have over a minute three players of dallas as well plenty of objective work across the board and it's been a great hard point now to trying to get on point and it's going to be toronto's we're going to be seeing a push now from shots he's going to watch both left and right flanks the streets are not a safe place right now the final 10 now for the win this could be it toronto five seconds for the win clay you gotta go and you gotta go now otherwise we're going to be seeing a game five Bance charging on the point. Here comes the push. And Toronto Ultra keep the kills coming. The contests are there. It's not quite over yet. The gunfights in the middle through the smoke and through the fire and the flames from the ashes. We're bringing it back, baby. And Toronto have got themselves a game five. Wow. What have we just seen there? To highlight some of the incredible plays which Toronto just did, the way that they broke into coal, the way that they flipped the spawns and broke into the back green warehouse. They retained everything that they could. And again, the objective work really split between all five players. Uh, but overall, incredible stuff. 330 bombs all around. I think it was uh, classic though. Uh, a baby pun, sorry, Methods with 36 and Bant with 34. And it wasn't too shabby on the Dallas Empire side as well. It was just maybe a little lack of communication on some of those rotations because they got broke, I think, maybe two or three times when they shouldn't. Yeah, when the breaks were good from Toronto, they were just so clean, man. They were and fast breaks so fast. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's not something we've seen a lot out of them, but that's that well-rounded squad we're seeing now. Toronto, mad props to them. That was a, a full a full set towards the end there, where we managed to see those breaks come through. Well, here we go, friends. Game five time. Is it going to be a repeat of what we saw in Gun Runner, or is this going to be a new dawn, a new day for Toronto? They have clawed this one back. We are going to be going to a game five when we come back after this break, friends. There's more COD for you. Stay safe. Stay clean.
The US Army. What's your warrior? Tournament audio and team chat listenings are brought to you by Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Call of Duty League. Join the Astro family and pre order the CDL A40 TR headset and Pro Team speaker tags today at astrogaming.com. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel, the official energy drink of the Call of Duty League. Now, this is it, the final push. Coming in right now. This looks like this is like what Rocker had to do to Empire, right? Like this final. Oh, they got in. Illy got in. Illy got in. Can he hit the door? Illy got in. He finds all three. He finds all three and they flip the spot. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. And they can win it here. They can win it here. So now Gorillas have to track the whole way across the map. Oh, God. Not like this. Not like this. This is bringing me back to Empire Rocker to close out LA. Now all the pressure on Gorillas to try and get in, get some kind of contest. So far, they're holding it. It's a big win that comes in from Hook. He's actually able to get two. They're spawning out again. There has to be some kind of contest. That's it. There's only Davis one. He's got a contest. It's He's done. not able to do it. How did Illy get That's in? That's likely going to be the game. That's going to be the game. They can't get there. They can't get there. That's an Empire oh Series my. win. Some home series magic for Dallas. Well, 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 friends, it's a game five. Toronto Ultra have brought this one back against the Dallas Empire, and this is going to be a humdinger. We're going to pick a dilly for the final here, mate. Phil, what do you think? Phil, what's what's this all about, hey? What's what's this all about, <laughs> hey? Toronto, what's man. Every every time we doubt Toronto, they just turn it around. Every time we think, ah, oh, Toronto will do okay here, they drop the ball, man. What's think, going on here? I think what happens is, you know, they've got 10 players. They, you know, the other five that aren't actually playing, they listen to us, they hear us kind of saying that they're going to lose. They then jump in. They gas their teammates up. It all goes well for them, and then they shut up the casters and everyone down in them. That's just what happens, okay? Uh, one thing I would like to point out is the hype that Dallas were feeling. I don't know if you saw that as well, Miles, but after their victory, you could see on their little webcams, you know, they're all getting pumped up. I think it was Shotzi just kind of getting a, a little intense, but it's good to see kind of that energy and that hype still coming from the players, from ourselves, from everyone as well. If you guys joining us as well, I know uh, all the watch parties, uh, Dallas was tweeting about. Hold on, uh, watch parties. Join those. Oh, those better be know, on the internet, chill. Phil. Those they better are, be online. They are, Miles, internet exists. I know you're like 75 years old, but it's it's possible, okay? I know it's oh been a struggle. Oh, my God. Show me. the. Just get the bracket up here. Let's have a look at where we are <laughs> in the tournament. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, we're at Ultra versus Empire right now. This is, of course, round two of Group A. We saw the Huntsman take down Paris Legion 3-1 earlier on today. We've still got a few more games to play. Uh, but again, this is an exciting one. This is for a spot in the semifinals, my friends. There's Dallas Empire on your screen. Handsome, happy-looking boys. Uh, even that Crim 6. Stoic, stone-faced, a true professional. I'm sure we've made that joke enough times now throughout the course of the COD League. Hopefully you saw uh, get Crim6 a webcam or something. I know he's got one, but I'm sure there's more than meets the eye here. Shotzi, Huke, Illy, Clayster, and Crim gearing up for a Game 5 now. They are, of course, the Dallas Empire, your home series hosts here online. We hope you're comfortable, safe, squeaky clean hands doing what you can to avoid spreading the coronavirus across the face of the earth. Right, Phil, let's get into this game, mate. I'd love to, you know, if that stops you speaking for uh, 10 oh, 15 seconds, bugger that would have been beautiful, <laughs> Miles. But no, in all seriousness, it's uh, it's been a, a good time. I think yesterday we only got to uh, to cast one match. We do cast two today. We've got a few more games, of course, so we start a lot earlier. Uh, more games for you guys at home to watch. We are going to be going to s &D. It is going to be Piccadilly. It is going to be a game five. And no, it's not Ben and Chance. They got a game four. Let that be noted. It happened, believe it or not. But not today, not now. Dallas Empire, are they going to get reverse swept? Let us know. I mean, Tweet us, is, get involved. I mean, this is an upset. If, if anything, seeing Toronto now in this position, this is an upset. If Dallas close this out, all good. They've got to take a big deep breath and just get back into the swing of things for the rest of the competition. But for Toronto, oh my God, here we go. Into the search. You like saying Toronto. Toronto. Just ending with an O. This, is the no second T? Is that what you meant to say? Is that how yes. you say it? Yes. Toronto. Toronto. Awesome. Let's watch Illy, not of Toronto. He's of Dallas Empire. <laughs> what a throw that was. Crim <laughs> found a Beautiful. car as well. Oh, cars in London are dangerous enough, but these cars are real mean, I must admit. Two down already for Toronto. Dallas now with a slight advantage. The shots he may be done. Ooh, peeks forward. Took a lot of effective fire there. As Bantz with that snipe. Don't forget we're seeing a lot of two snipes being run right now in the meta for these teams. Not uncommon to be seen, but Bantz with the one. Play now. Ripping those shots forward. Metals once again takes a hefty load of lead. 
Not quite enough to clean him up there. Boy, his diet was questionable, but he manages to find Krim as well. So Metals dips and dodges all over the map. Manages to find himself a kill, giving his team the advantage. Yeah, Metal's going to force feed Crim6 down low there as Illy will find one elsewhere. And I believe that is bombed down now. So 2v2, Illy and Huke versus Metals and Methods. Just looking at the minimap, one of the players, I believe oh, Huke, is oh. in the middle of this. Well, I say in the middle, it's actually down low, but Methods will reveal his location with a beep beep as he walks through the library. Illy managing just to catch Metals there on the transition across. Now it's a 1v2. Big shots. Just managed to keep Illy back, but you've got to watch out for that second player there. It's going to be Huke who's making his way in towards the bomb site now. His method goes for the plant, but the time is not going to be on his side, and nor are the numbers as Dallas manages to get that first round. Not without a hefty pound of flesh, though. Toronto really made them work for that one. Beautiful positioning from Illy, I will say. As soon as he got the bomb down, he pushed forward. He got that window position, makes that second kill as well. I think he might have got three kills that round. Could be two. I might be jumping the gun a little bit here, but I'm sure he'll find a third nonetheless as we flip sides now and get back into the action. Of course, every round counts. We've seen some game five rounds, 11, and this is a qualifier match. Just to repeat, a qualifier match, an important one, and it's the third killer. Oh, hello, Bance. That's a nice shot there on the place to start the round off. Yeah, First blood, pick great. from as well. <laughs> he did. He had the pick of the litter, and he took that one. Not the run. But he now has made his way through. Huke on the other side. He's going to be pinched and closed out. Goodbye, Cammy. Now straight to the point. Back and shots come through. And he's up on the Huke. The B site is really where the fight's going down. Shotzi with a nice up and down as he plays Whack-A-Mole. And Sally Classic was the mole there. Not to the hammer. Two versus three right now. Dallas Empire with a slight advantage as they just managed to get onto the B site. Got to watch out though. They're being encroached upon slowly by the double M combo of Metals and Methods. Metals with that dead silence pop. He's trying to get even closer. Finds one there on Italy, but here comes the play. Methods, he is the trap. Metals was the cheese and the stinky cheese has just found himself two more. Krim, you're on your own now, mate. 34 seconds left alive. You've got to make these 1v1s count. Can you isolate them behind that telephone booth? He can find one. There's the second just to his left, but the dead silence of Metals. Like a knife in the dark, just cuts down Krim from behind and gets the defuse. What a round from the Spaniard. Three kills that round alone. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll tell you what, Miles, you are certainly riding the medals wave. I like the energy. Medals finds his fifth <laughs> kill, three that round, as you did say. But the dead silence, it was just the, the right timing, the right play. And again, it's that field upgrade that you want to have at all times, but you can't. You've got to be able to... You know, pick and uh, pick and choose when you, of course, get it with uh, how well you do it in game. But using it at the right time is so vital. Yeah, in the right time. He picked it at the start of those three kills. So as he was coming out of like side shop towards the archways, he managed to get one. Keep the keep the dead silence rolling. And oh, mate, at the end of it, five and one. Here we go, one to one thus far in this game five. Dance. Able to find another first blood with a snipe. That'd be cool. Not to happen though. Suke is going to get his teammate classic. Trying to look through, does find the first, of course, now a 5v4, you never want to lose that. And of course, we highlighted the first bloods there. Are you okay, Mouse? You died. <laughs> Sorry, mate. All good. Um, Muted. But it's all good. <laughs> Interestingly enough, we're still getting most to, of course. Oh, all the action here. There we go. Bance strikes twice. <laughs> he manages to find the kill. <laughs> What's he doing here? Just hopping up and down. I mean, he's feeling himself. He's going to try and hit a shot like this, but hey, why not? It's possible. I think Krim just saw something there. He's like, I think my game's free. It's like a it's like clip in or something like that. Oh no, just bounce, pop up down, bounce, pass it back in effect. Krim's trying to put these shots down and slow these players. But look at the defensive line from Dallas. So, so deep. Spread across that far left of the map. And the B push is definitely happening. And now they're going to start repositioning methods. Just caught on mid map with his pants. Drop his wallet or something. Cami almost gets ripped there, but the trade comes through immediately. Bounce picks it up. Cami now making his way through. To retrieve the bomb. Not a chance. Dallas with a clean round. Clean and concise, and Dallas once again find themselves on top here. Very much back and forth, but positioning playing a vital role in that round again. You just see here, you making light work of Cami. The team shot from Dallas does come through. Switch on sides, and again, I've got this funny feeling this could go back in two, but give me some more snipes. I want some more. Give us some snipes. Uh, we haven't seen two snipes being run just yet, I don't think, unless Crim's running one right now. I don't think he is. So we aren't seeing the two snipes up. Krim running the M4 now as he makes his way right through the middle of this broken shop. I think in real life that's a boots. I have been running since what? London, but I think that's a massive boots down there. Or a car phone warehouse. Who knows? I've said to him. Krim Q gets that first blood. As he cleans his way through towards that B site. Shotsy with a nice save there. And 
Ooh, Metals can't repeat the heroics of the previous rounds, and he's down. Bants with a nice clean kill here. Close range with the snipe there. The AX50, that quick ADS time getting put to work before Illy cleans him up now, and it's a 4v1. Methods. Shots there, but not able to get it done. 3-1 as a Dallas take it once more. I said this might have gone back in two, but Krim finalizing this one. The final kill on to Methods here. Just over the cop car, as we call it back in Britain. I don't know if you call it that here. I have no idea. The cop Let's car. Let's around five. It's, your, the, it's the Bobby Mobile. The Bobby Mobile, that's true as well. <laughs> Down there, we landed. Down oh, there, boys, it. welcome back. The Rosas Round are here. Five. It's the Rosas, bruv. I don't know if anyone calls it the Rosas anymore, God. Here we go, smokes up for Q. I'm just going to roll past that line so fast, Phil. We're going to just fast forward past that line. This <laughs> huge smokes mid. Krim once again throws out Peach. The nades have been so good from Dallas so far. You can tell they've been in the custom lobbies working on them cheeky spots, those nade spots. As Metals finds his indirect kill there using an explosive vehicle of some kind, some petroleum fuel combustion engine explosive device. Isn't so lucky, but methods is so it's just grenades galore just grenades. here as the kills have come through. Ooh. Krim finds the first with an M4. Has to go back to basic. Of course, using that weapon, methods is going to be in a, an awkward position, guarding himself by some very penetrable surfaces. But it's all good. As the last 30 seconds start to loom here, three v three. Bancis snipe still has been working out for him so far. Just peeking out over the top of those quiet London streets right now. Krim is just on the other side of those tents. Hugh takes care of Cammy, puts it in. A oh dear. It's a 3v2 right now. Methods does manage to secure the bomb, pushes play back in time to but that top shot position is a death trap. Plays going to peek that every single time. Bans his snipe now. The last player left alive for Toronto, and it's cleaned out, and it's going to be 4 1 with Dallas victory looming. It's on the horizon for them. They've just got to reach out and take it. Cammy, yet to the kill as well. But we wanted to change that for sure. You never want to lose a series. You never want to lose a game. But you don't want to do it in a fashion where you're not picking up a kill. We'll maybe see a little bit of Kami. Give him some cast of love. We'll see whether we can uh, change that for him. But Heading into round number six here. Shotzi with the bomb and pushing forward. Spam this ham to gas on Cam. We'll work on that. Nice nades from Hugh. Oh no. Good night, Cammy. Good night, Cammy. <laughs> oh dear. We oh, might see you in the next round. He's made his way forward. So aggressive. Again, Dead Silence gives him a little bit of a movement speed boost. And he manages to get that kill on a classic there in the bottom of the quick shot. Illy. Oh, Bans on the quick trade. A fast trade. Now he's got to put that snipe to good work up close. Illy's just on the outside of the court. Crim6 manages to find that kill on the methods. Bans. What have you got, my friend? In a one versus four. Similar position to the previous rounds. And Dallas could literally throw themselves at at this point in time, and it's not even going to be needed to done. I believe that was Crim6, you got the kill, and this is match point here in round, or game five. One more round for Dallas. One more is all they need, of course, in the qualifying match. To make it through, Toronto will have to do something pretty incredible, and we talk about this series very, very quickly, Miles, the two... Convincing maps have been the search and destroys both in the hands of Dallas so far, but it is not over until that sixth round is reached. Zero and six for Kami. Not much better for Classic, just one kill to his name. C6 though, aka Krim, double digits already. Unbelievable. Krim's already managed to get themselves two first bloods thus far in the search. Keeps it in a three. Metals gets this one though. Nice start from Cami as well as he finds a second kill. Keep it up. If, you're, if you're Toronto, Classic gets involved now into the mix. A quick arm, and we're going to be seeing that B site looking a lot more dangerous now as we see the final two members of Dallas Empire make it one as Bans finds his as he pops up from the top of the buses in Toronto with a very decisive round there. Five to two. And a much needed round. Not only, of course, to keep him in the game, but a very clean and concise one. Cami finds his first kill, maybe a bit of confidence going into round number eight as well. Dallas will just be saying one more, one simple round is all they need. And I'll tell you what has been on point, the grenades, those oh, set man. pieces almost from the get-go. I'd like to see some more of those or exactly where they're throwing them. I'll hit a quick control C and control V into my gameplay and we'll see whether it <laughs> works the same. Probably won't. It will not, my friend. I can tell you that. Slow them down though. Don't let those nades work out. Ilion the cross. 
Ooh, does manage to get shot. methods on the cross there. That is unbelievable. We caught the cami kill, but Illy's shot there. Brilliant stuff. He found his second on the metals. Oh boy. And from behind, oh, Illy, what a disgusting turn on the classic. I barely even saw the shots. Three kills this round already. He's got Toronto's number and he's ringing him like a bell. Krim, Illy, Huke. As Huke guns down Bance now on the back end of the B site, he's going to get that kill as well. Wow, Dallas, you've just ripped this one wide open. What a decisive and convincing game five. And that round was disgusting. Illy. The final kill as well was Illy, believe it or not. Take a bow. What a play. There it is, dude. Right through the hip bone of Cami to clean him out. Dallas. 6-2 in the search and destroy, 3-2 in the series overall. Toronto, they will fall here, but you have to hand it to them. What a turnaround for that team. What a brilliant series as they keep giving these top quality teams runs for their money. Commiserations nonetheless, but brilliant, brilliant stuff. Dallas are in the semifinals. Simple as that, yeah. mate. Simple really? as that. Dallas looking very, very strong. They move on. They win, of course, a very important game, a qualification game. We can't forget that this is the Dallas homestand, of course. This is something that they've probably been waiting for for months and months and months. It's under different circumstances, of course, we would love to be there. Uh, but again, what a way to kind of close this out. This wasn't a 3-0 sweep, which I, I think you touched on, Miles, as we headed into the domination. Or our point, you I thought did. it would be. I was right there with you. I thought it would. But they closed it out, of course, in a big 3-2 victory. Massive, massive way to get it done. Well, friends, that's all from this series. When we come back after the break, a whole lot more Call of Duty action. Don't go anywhere.